Hi there, Psych2Go fans. Welcome to another feast for your inquisitive minds, made possible through your continuous support. Do you ever wonder why each person reacts differently to a similar situation? Or why each person's approach to problem solving is unique? People operate on emotions by varying degrees. Some are slaves to their spontaneous emotions while others have mastered their control. Having strong emotional maturity is an asset to navigating the ship of life. What exactly is emotional maturity, you ask? Emotional maturity is the ability to clearly understand and manage your emotions. Emotions play a huge part in our everyday interactions, so it follows to say that exercising control over them becomes all the more important for meaningful interactions. Here are seven signs of emotional maturity. One, you can put a name to the face of your emotions. If at any given time you can pinpoint the exact emotion you're feeling, congratulations, you have officially entered the realm of emotional maturity. Knowing exactly what it is that you're feeling is the first step to trying to manage your emotions. When you can name them, your emotions get validated. This makes it easier for you to understand your emotional state and you can then formulate a plan to deal with it. A study also found that those who have a strong capacity to regulate their emotions should be better able to maintain good health, psychological well-being, and a healthier outlook on life. Two, you can draw healthy boundaries. Are you a highly sensitive person or an empath? Do you find yourself easily influenced by the demands and emotions of others? If so, then learning how to manage your own emotions and saying no to things could be a sign of emotional maturity. There's a fine line between being selfish or emotionally mature. If you can put yourself before others without putting them at a disadvantage, you are counted as being emotionally mature. Your boundaries are for your protection rather than a nuisance to others. Three, you aren't afraid to own up to your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. It's how you behave afterwards that makes all the difference. According to a New York Times piece by Paul Krugman, we as a nation are suffering from an epidemic of infallibility. No one, president or not, wants to admit to wrongdoing, at least not publicly. A big sign of emotional maturity is being aware of your own actions. So when you make a mistake, you're able to admit that you were wrong. Recognizing when you're wrong and outwardly acknowledging it shows you're mature enough to try and mend a situation or relationship. Valuing your relationships more than your ego is a telltale sign of an emotionally mature person. According to Luicki and his collaborators, when you admit to wrongdoing, you show that you value the other more than your own pride. And being able to look beyond self-serving motives is something emotional maturity is all about. Four, you think before you leap. Emotional maturity is at its full bloom when you overcome the habit of automatically acting on spontaneous reactions. It's when you take time to understand and analyze the situation before reacting to it. Emotionally mature people are able to step back and take a bird's eye view before responding to difficult situations. According to Psychology Today, Emotionally mature people are able to control their impulses and are less prone to emotional outbursts and aren't quick to anger. They do not lose their cool in the face of adversity. Rather, they determine how to react through thoughtful deliberation. This is an added feather in their cap of maturity as they're less likely to do or say something they'll regret later on. Five, you have more success in getting your point across. According to a study, emotionally mature people have an effective communication style. You are aware of your needs and wants and can convey them to others in a healthy way. You know what you want and are able to express it. You can get your point across as there is no conflict between your thoughts and actions. Emotionally mature people have a good feel on the how, when, and where the optimal time is to express their emotions. You feel your emotions instead of becoming your emotions. This is what brings stability and objectivity in your communication with others. Six, 
You are self-aware. Emotional maturity is not intellectual. Rather, it's a higher state of self-awareness. It goes beyond intelligence and includes our senses, intuition, and heart. Self-awareness refers to the capacity of becoming the object of one's own attention. The self is defined as an integrative structure comprised of cognitive and emotional elements. When you are self-aware, you can focus on your emotions more clearly. A clear understanding of your own emotions leads you to acknowledge your needs. You have confidence and don't necessarily need validation from other people in making your decisions. And seven, you know how to listen. Since emotional maturity comes with empathy, it automatically makes a person a pretty good listener. It enables you to lend a sympathetic ear to others. You know how to avoid being triggered by situations and getting self-absorbed. This lets you approach the situation objectively, being able to focus on the person talking instead of getting wrapped up in your own needs. So you can listen actively rather than being judgmental or condescending. Emotional maturity is a key ingredient to adding meaning to the recipe of life. It's not a skill acquired overnight, but rather requires a prolonged simmer on the gentle heat of experience. However, that's not to say it requires years and years. With the right kind of positive approach to life, emotional maturity is just around the corner, which in turn can be effective in keeping emotional burnout at bay. You can watch our video on seven signs of emotional burnout linked in the description box below to help you understand that better. Were you able to relate to these signs? Have you noticed similar traits in those around you? What are some ways you can incorporate these signs into your life? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.